Hi, time for another update to the trigger templates feature. For those who haven't seen my previous video, let me quickly demonstrate what it is. So for Legion, I've developed a feature that adds a new button here from template and it offers you first a choice of the type of display you want and then shows you a list of all common triggers. For example, here are buffs, debuffs, abilities, PvP talents, and other contains class-specific triggers that didn't fit into the other sections. General contains triggers that are useful for all classes. Below that are way-specific triggers, and finally, item-related triggers. If I select, for example, from the ability section, Icy Veins, this will create an aura for the cooldown of Icy Veins. So let me demonstrate that. Now, what's new since last week? The functionality can now be disabled by disabling the weak aura's template add-on. It's also now load on demand, so it's only loaded if you actually use it. Some pet abilities were missing, or all of them were missing, and I added some manually. Not all of them, because for most of them, the cooldown doesn't actually matter because they are auto-cast, but I might have made mistakes um, in the selection of which to add. I added all the PvP talents for all the classes. This is also completely untested, so there might be some errors in that. The item list contains now all legendaries that trigger a buff or debuff. And I also added uh, the PvP sets. The general section now contains a few more useful triggers. For example, this um, heroism trigger that actually lists all the heroism buffs. What's also new is that if you create a new aura via this trigger template feature, it will automatically set the load conditions to the right class, spec, and talent. I also added lots of polish. I found numerous abilities that I forgot in the first pass. To give a few examples that took a bit more work for a brewmaster, um, in addition to the individual light stagger, medium stagger, and heavy stagger triggers, there's also a stagger template which triggers on all three. Or for mages, the rune of power talent. In Legion, this puts down a rune that lasts only 10 seconds. Yet, if you cast it, the buff here has no duration. So if you would just track the buff, you wouldn't see any information on how long the duration is. Now, if you select the rune of power buff in the templates, it won't just create a buff trigger, but combine a combat lock and buff trigger. So if I cast rune of power, I actually see the progress information. And the aura disappears if I move out of the radius and reappears with the correct progress information once I step into it again. And some abilities, for example, the new protection power in ability Aegis of Light, actually result in two buffs, which are unfortunately both called Aegis of Light. And to track this with weak auras, you need to enable the full scan option and enter the spell ID. Obviously, if you create the aura via the trigger template feature, full scan will be enabled automatically. I have nothing left on my to-do list, so the next step is to get this into weak auras, which involves a code review, and how long that takes depends on how much time Stanzilla has and how many bugs and improvements he finds. Since this is a pretty big feature, I would, I would expect that to take a bit of time. 